Chair, first, thanks for being here tonight on this night that is uh, so important to so many people watching what's happening in California. I know that you're in the investigation, not the speculation business. Mm -hmm. I also know that you get a lot of information. As a law enforcement officer, when you see this type of event where uh, a so-called soft target mm -hmm. is hit by multiple people using assault weaponry, what goes through your mind as an officer? It's definitely not your average active, active shooter. Your active shooters have been single people, in a target that they had a problem with, like the abortion clinics or, you know, something that, that was an ag aggravated, and they don't cover themselves, they don't have rifles, they don't have body armor. These were three individuals, ski mask, body armor, automatic weapons. They came there with a purpose. They were organized. This is something entirely different. Talk to me about training for your personnel when it comes to an active shooter situation. A video just was released by your office today mm -hmm. concerning this kind of training. What are the keys to keeping deputies, officers mm -hmm. uh, alive and minimizing death among people who are trapped in one of those active shooter situations and, and saving those lives? We just did this a week ago where we had an office building and it was an active shooter with a guy that was in there and we, tr we tr regularly do this with the deputies. We want to make sure that they are fully trained, fully equipped. The key here is, and we learned this early on, you can't wait. When you've got an active shooter, the deputy's got to go there, they got to get in there, they got to neutralize whatever the threat is, otherwise the death toll is going to go up. Sheriff Bretz also sees the San Bernardino attack and police response as an example of why a move by the federal government to demilitarize local law enforcement agencies is misguided. In the wake of the Ferguson, Missouri riots, there's been a call for police to give up many of their armored vehicles, heavy weapons, and tactical equipment. All were used by police in Southern California today to take out those alleged shooters.